Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast and in this screencast I want to answer a user question that was popped up in the lubuntu.net mm, website under the comments as you can see also when going onto lubuntu.net under the comments watching MMS live streams in Lubuntu so here's some someone asking basically how to watch those uh, MMS streams or DivX streams or something like el uh, something else in the web browser directly with a browser plugin. So this is easily done by a browser plugin called Gecko minus Media Player. So all you have to do is just go to your System Tools Synaptic Package Manager and then you need to enter your password before entering Synaptic and then the just search for the package called Gecko minus Media Player Gecko minus Media Player and then you will find it I guess and mark it for the installation hit apply and a few seconds later this particular package will be installed and this is basically our browser plugin to handle all the different uh, integrated streams uh, of web pages so to check if it's running all you need to do is just go to your web browser in this case I'm using the Chromium default web browser coming with Lubuntu and type in about plugins which will lead you to a site which tells you which plugins are available for this particular browser. As you can see here we have the mplayer plugin alias the gecko media player plugin 1.00 installed and it handles windows media player plugin so it's handling also the MMS streams it's handling real player 9 and it's handling QuickTime and DivX. So to test this I think I will start well, testing the QuickTime plugin um, by going to a Mac website because they are using QuickTime very often of course and a uh, Mac TV show and podcast about Macs. So let's click on trailer here and this will open up, this will pop up this little grayish um, box here. This is where our Gecko Media Player is loading. With a right click we can show the controls. So this will show us uh, the controls and is, uh, this will show us that it's now caching the video as you can see here. And it's until the cache is full it won't playback anything and if it's done it should start playbacking with the playback playing as you can see here and you can go to full screen as well to see the video in full screen go back to the browser you can scroll through the video as you can see here you can hear it in the background that it's playing back and it's very smooth and working very fine as you can see here. So let me close this out down. And by the way, this crashes here because of the website because they are using this strange pop-up. So this crashes our QuickTime plugin in this case. Let's go to uh, divix.com stage 6 to p uh, test our divix uh, playing capabilities. And here in this box our player should appear because stage 6 is no more but there's still this uh, little DivX uh, playing thing here on the website as you can see it's cache filling you can see our uh, Gecko Media Player it's still caching I have a slow internet connection I guess that's, that's the cause of this little strange takes a little bit long to cache but you can see that it's working very fine and, you, and if you have any problems like and pictures not playing back you have only audio or something just go to full screen and then just go back to um, 
the go normal screen and this should work very very fine also you can uh, go to the preferences here and this will open up the preferences uh, basically of the GNOME AMP player and what you can do is just here set the video a different video output format if you have any regressions with uh, the one you have chose uh, or that the player has uh, chosen automatically and you, you can see that in the background it's now it's still filling the cache you have some other options like open files uh, which does not make any sense here but you can copy the location as well and as you can see now it's playing back here very smooth very fine even in full screen and yeah this works pretty good I guess and you can copy the location and this is a very nice uh, feature especially if you want to download some of those streaming uh, videos you have now the location of this video let me go to the another desktop and we'll open up a terminal here so go to your accessories and that menu open up a terminal and what you can do now is just w get your video which is toggling w get and then hit edit paste and as you can see here it has the URL to the video and it will then just download the video as you can see here it's a 7 720p video 12 megabytes divx and it will download the whole apples and orange trailer that's playing back here in my browser So this is basically everything for the screencast. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of the Gecko Media Player plugin which ships with Lubuntu 11.04 and which can be easily installed uh, via the package management which allows you then to play back DivX streams or QuickTime uh, streams and so on in your browser. I hope you enjoyed this screencast and yeah, thanks for watching.